Islanders cannot apply electronically for a permit. Robin, the expedition leader, literally had to go to the governor's office and make a personal application. This site is highly protected. It is incredibly rare to get here. Oftentimes, we do not come here even once in a season. Some of the expedition staff sometimes have only been here one or two times in an entire career. It is a site of enormous historic significance for the history of aviation in the high Arctic. And Svalbard itself, the entire archipelago, plays a major role in the history of the Arctic itself. So this is sort of like really great opportunities. Sometimes we don't see any polar bears in entire cruise, so we've seen some already. So we're feeling we're like really doing well here. On this, yeah, this is really good. So, Bergaham. It is a site that has essentially four different eras of historical importance. The first era, did any of you notice as you're walking down, and maybe you might want to turn around, there are two mounds here on the beach that you can see. There's actually several more farther down, but those two mounds date back to the whaling period that I wanted to chat with you just about here this morning, or this afternoon. And they go back to 1635. In that era, this is Danskoya Island, the island of the day, eyes length. I always think about them sort of looking at each other as they're trying to grab as many whales as possible. And it was not the type of whaling that you would have seen in the movies and films. It was not go out into the ocean for months and months and years and years. They didn't have the ships that were that size, much smaller ships. They were engaged in coastal whaling. Ships that would go out just here along the coastline, they would harpoon a whale after having rowed out, but they needed a partner. They couldn't bring the whale up on the ship. They needed a shore station to process the whale itself. 